Okay guys, story time, real quick. All right, I work for a, as a caseworker for the city of New York and um, I had a client come in yesterday and I saw his notebook that was put on my desk and I said, whoa, 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 what is this? You have the candy cane and the onk and it says earth magnetic field. Um, he was this tall Haitian dude. <clears throat> and we spoke, we spoke of flat earth, we spoke about a lot of things and I mentioned Hyperborea and Avalon, and he goes, whoa, 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 wait a second, I was in a secret society, all right, and he's like, I'm not going to tell you which one, I don't even want to talk about what, because it, it kind of messed him up, he said, and um, if you see sun backwards right here, Nos, Book of the Resurrection, he was in a secret society, and one of the female Rothschilds members gave him this book, he befriended uh, two Rothschilds family members, and... I think he said the woman, the Rothschild lady. Could be wrong, but someone in the Rothschild's family gave <clears throat> gave this guy this book. And he showed me where it says Hyperborea Avalon. The whole book is about it, he says. And let me show you. I flipped to the first page and it says North Pole, Thule. It's the guy's crown. South Pole, it's the, say, uh, it's the solar plex. All right? I go to the second page, and I made copies, so let me read the copy over here. It says, The origins of this most ancient martial initiation are lost in the midst of time, if indeed it ever did have any origins. And it is based on the Orphic cosmogony, which is Hyperborea revelation, belonging solely to the polar divinities and semi-divinities, to the white gods who lived at both poles, who were later submerged in the interior hollow earth. They are also the lords of the ray of the green light, beyond the sun of gold and the black sun. Again, the green ass trailing light. All right, look. I go to page 27. Let me find page 27. Let me see, where is this? Okay, over here, there we go. And by the way, look at this picture, it says, Void, spirit, mind, ether, air, fire, water, earth. Again, most material on the bottom. Lamb, vam, ram, yam, ham, om, saham, and hamsa. By the crown. Okay? Another turn of the wheel. This talks about so many different things. Real quick. Because the black sun at, at, of midnight doesn't shed its light outside the earth, but inside of it. That's the candy cane going through the hole. That is where the white gods, our guides, live. The green light that streams out from both poles is the dream of the black sun. As it longs for the rays of green light, the green astral light, the entrances of the interior earth are to be found at the poles, as well as an Antarctic oasis, possibly on top of this mountain, Mount Maru. That's what I'm guessing, magnetic memory, I'm guessing that. They can be reached by traveling through the deep waters which flow beneath the ices. They talk about so many different things in this book and um, I saw a poem about the black sun and the sun and the green ash trailing light there's a poem in here about this somewhere there's so much I only read the first 30 pages and it blew my mind and I'm not even done I recommend everyone get this this book is really hard to get try looking in the internet for yourself Nos Book of Resurrection written 1983 by Miguel Serrano okay and um, this guy he brings his dog into Hyperborea, and his, he started communicating with his dog. I think there was an interview with Quasi Luminous where he mentioned something very similar. Um, there was also, you know, some of the book is literary and literal. There was this part that says these ancient people used their sword to break through the Antarctic ice walls and they broke through the Antarctic ice walls and they discovered um, more Earth past Antarctica. Just like that Buddhist map showed us, there's other Earths outside of the firmament that's at past Antarctica. Over here it says Mount Meru at the base. Mount Meru at the base of the sacrum. You have the 33 vertebrae. There's Mount uh, Maru right there at the top, too. It says El Ella, Venus Ella El. That's him, her, her, him. Um, again, I didn't read this whole book. I just wanted to show you guys 
how deep the rabbit hole goes. And again, this was given to this guy by the, one of the Rothschilds family. And they talk a lot about um, Vedic cosmo cosmogony, cosmology, and 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 um, Nordic cosmology a lot. They even have Quetzalcoatl in here, um, Lucifer. They have a lot of different gods that they speak about. Here's a black hole, the green ray. Anyway, I, I recommend you guys look up this book. No, Book of Resurrection by Miguel Serrano. Get as much information as you can about this, all right? The sun and the black hole sun, they're both mentioned, the green ash trailing light at the center of the dish and jumping into it to reach Hyperborea. It's all in there, and I kid you not, um, <laughs> this book, I, I spoke my intention into the sun yesterday. And well, I, I do it every day. But yesterday, I specifically asked something. I, I didn't ask. I didn't I put my intention into the sun, and I intended to get more knowledge of the ages, like immediately. And and I've been having syncretisms hit me all week. Thought about this dude on Monday. I saw him Wednesday. I haven't seen this guy in three years. <sighs> and the list goes on and on. The syncretisms that I've, I've been experiencing. But anyway. Um, I met this guy for a reason, and this guy met me for a reason, and um, we both are friends now, and, and we're going to maybe, you know, I'll get him into YouTube and start making some videos, and this is his drawing, and I saw this, and I was like, whoa, this is a sign, this is a sign, we spoke, I got this book in my hands, and I intended to get more information about the sun, black hole, sun, north pole, all that stuff, and boom. I got it because I put my intention into it, into the sun. This guy also meditates very deeply, he said, and he said he met me for a reason. Listen, people, this stuff is real. Um, to any non-believers out there, you guys are living in a fantasy. You guys are zombies. You're missing half of your brain and you're zombies if you don't know the world you live in and, and the power that you have within you and what you can do. All right, guys? Um... Listen, peace, love, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to continue reading. I'm also reading, um, something else told me to pick up this book right here, which I have for years. Dante's Inferno, Dante's Purgatory, and Dante's Paradiso. All right? It's, it's, the, it's the triple one. It's, got, it's, got not, it's not just Dante's Inferno, it's all three. Purgatory and Paradise. And in here, too, when he goes to Paradise, the girl is sun-gazing, and she goes to Center Earth. And they ride a light that comes out of center earth. They ride the light in Paradiso. Look it up. Purgatory, the same. They, 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 I forget what was spoken of Purgatory. I took notes. I took notes somewhere in here. Um, again, I had this book for years. And I said, something told me, hey, pick this book up. Dante's Inferno. He goes to hell. This is written in the 1200s, medieval times. He has Virgil take him to hell. He has Virgil take him to purgatory. And then he has a lady, Beatrice, take him to um, um, paradise, to heaven. And they go to the center of the earth, and they jump through a hole. And they, it, the lady also sun gazes. And he, has this, he says, you have to sun gaze. You have to sun gaze. The answers are there. And you will only be welcomed. And, and the, doors, the, the doors will start opening when you start sun gazing and grounding. All right, people. I love you guys. Take care.